Hi everybody, it's Bonka922. Okay, One Piece. One Piece 568. But this one was called The Sun. I'm gonna The Sun. Now, beginning of the episode, we get Luffy falling down. You know the story. Um, it's realized that the Sea Kings they were talking to they were actually literally physically talking to Shirahoshi and they were saying that at, since she was born They've been waiting for the day for her to realize that they, you know, they can talk to her. And they refer to her as their queen. Ah, uh, some heavy shit there. And they said that, um, at one time, their queen, or the queen of, you know, was a mermaid. More or less. And this episode was actually very informative on a lot of things. More importantly, another connection between Luffy and Gold Roger. Gold Roger could hear the Sea Kings talking. And Luffy in this episode also. So this is definitely getting a 4 out of 5. On that fact alone and in the other facts that happened in this episode. Um, this was basically... The episode was basically bridging the gap, or showing the gap, between humans and fishmen. And showing how everybody on Fishman Island didn't trust the Straw Hats at all. That was the message that was being sent. And We had the Fishman Pirates who would main remain to them, leaving, and Jinbei stops them. You know, like, oh, I was like, Jinbei, motherfucker. Um, you didn't basically have, you know, Neptune-sama, he's basically telling, um, that we need to, we, we now know fully, because what happened was they found out who really kidnapped the mermaids. So they were mistaken it was the Straw Hats. So... He tells one of his men, and I think it was his right man, right hand man or left hand man, to announce that it was, the Straw Hats had nothing to do with it, they were innocent, so on and so forth. And that's when we start hearing from the villagers, from the fish, the citizens of Fishman Island, they say, oh yeah, we, 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 we trusted them, and everybody starts changing their tune. Saying that, no, we never trusted them. We, you know. And it becomes aware that you have this, this gap. You feel it. And we see, um... The princess showing up with Horty Jones and Deccan, and they cuff them up and just say, they're all free now, and everyone's cheering and everything. And and everybody's excited, and then all of a sudden, here comes Shirahoshi, she's crying, she's like, I can't stop 
the baby about on Luffy and it and it really she oh she <coughs> she cries a lot. <laughs> Come on, man. And that's when and, and Chopper he was there too and he was like out of it. Chopper after doing a monster. Rumble. And he was totally out of it. So he needed Robin. <laughs> it was so funny. He was laughing on Robin's lap. Resting on her lap. And Sanji's like, Yeah, I'm sick too. Robin Swan. Let me sleep on your lap too. It was so stupid. So in order to fix Luffy up, because he was losing blood, <laughs> she was squishing Robin. Uh, Robin was squishing Chopper's head and moving him this way, that way. <laughs> It was so funny. Um, and now he needs blood. Luffy. So, and all the strats are screaming at people saying, you know, does anybody have F-type blood? And there are a bunch of fishermen who have the blood, but they can't do it because it's a law. You gave their blood to a human. So, that's the whole thing. And... Pretty much before, before I get into the whole bit of who came forward to give their Luffy's their blood, there was a part where we get a flashback of Cole Roger, and he's actually hearing the Sea Kings, and the Sea Kings were thinking to themselves how it was odd that supposedly. This boy, this this human, could hear them. Just another indication of the connection between Luffy and Gold Roger. Now, who comes forward to give the blood? Jimbei. And it was just, and it was just this, this montage of of people showing their faces and the whole war of the between humans and 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 fishmen and. And the hatred and the animosity and the prejudice. And how, in the end, they both have the same type of blood. Blood that comes out and is red and is shed. So, that was like the clincher. I like how, like, you see the blood coming out of Jinbei and it goes into Luffy and then it's like, like, you see like, this is part where you see it going into him and then you see the ocean and then you see the sun. And yeah, she, she's just crying, she's happy. <laughs> so ridiculous. And that's when Luffy pops the question, Jinbei, I want you to join my crew. I was like, oh God. So, he wants Jinbei to join the crew. You know the story. Um, and like I said, I'm giving this 4 out of 5. I, I thought this was informative because we found out that there was another thing that Gold Roger, you know, was connected to Luffy with. Which is pretty freaking interesting, if, to say the least. And, um... I could only imagine... What's going to be on from here on now? With, 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 when we're going in out of the Fishman Island arc now. Into the next arc. Yeah! Hopefully no filler. We will see. But I thought this was a good episode, informative episode. Like how things were placed. You know? I can only imagine now where this is going to go, but I, I like, you know, the fact that that connection between Luffy and Gold Roger, again, that he can hear the Sea Kings, just as Roger did. Um, now, it's really, I think with this episode, 
<clears throat> it really brings up good points and a strong message of be for, for, with prejudice, which I find very interesting with One Piece because really you don't get that message with any other show, any other, well, as far as I know, any other shonen. This kind of message of being prejudiced towards a specific race. Think about it. The fishmen are not allowed to give blood to humans, even if they're dying. Unbelievable. It's like, holy shit, you know? Um, and I really like that message. It, it speaks volumes. And it, it, I know this arc wasn't really good. When you're thinking about Hoodie Jones and all this stuff and Deccan. But I like the message. That message rings true of prejudice and two races coming together and, you know. Jim Bay, a human pirate and a fishman pirate. So, in the end of the day, that's what both of them are, pirates. So, but... It was a very good episode. Liked what I saw. Pretty solid. Four out of five. Uh, One Piece. Pretty good. Um, don't have that many reviews left to do. I gotta do Fairy Tale. Both. Chapter and... Episode. I didn't just realize this. This <laughs> chapter came out. So I'll take a look at that. I'm not gonna review it, but I have to read it. Um, and Kenichi, of course. Mm. Gotta watch and review that as well. So, that's all I got for you guys. This is Bonka 922. I will see you guys later. Shirahoshi is... likes to cry. Crazy. See you guys later.